my first time I actually got to approach Lil Wayne and was about to meet Lil Wayne, I'm like, bro, what's that? I'm like, I'm so the Slim Son. Like, I, bro, you know, I'm basically just telling him, like, bro, I'm a fan. Like, I'm so the Slim Son and I'm a fan. I'm in here with Juvenile. And he just, like, fanned me up. He was like, man, I don't give a fuck about that. Like, I'm God. It really walked up with his wow. two bodyguards. So do you Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Wow, man. Just, that's, that's real. So, um, just the fact of having a relationship, uh, some kind of way, because I, I went from BG and I went to Juvie, um, Lil Wayne, I mean, just uh, interactions with the New Orleans, you know, the whole field. Because we just, when we, when we was down there, we uh, actually uh, interviewed Mac and some more people I'm going to ask you about, but just the fact of, Doing it at Peaches, you know, the record store. We 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 rocked out down there. Love love the feel, love the culture. Um, but as far as Lil Wayne go, uh, just give me a breakdown of his just you and his relationship when you did link with him. Um, I don't know Lil Wayne. And yeah. I don't know if you seen my interview the other day, but I just spoke on this like What did you what did, what what's going on? Talk to so me. So my first time I actually got to approach Lil Wayne and was about to meet Lil Wayne. I'm like, bro, what's that? I'm like, I'm so the Slim Son. Like, I, bro, you know, I'm basically just telling him, like, bro, I'm a fan. Like, I'm so the Slim Son and I'm a fan. I'm in here with Juvenile. And he just, like, fanned me up. He was like, man, I don't give a fuck about that. Like, I'm God. It really walked off with his wow. two bodyguards. So, do you think he really, like, is this, this what no, he, no, that's what he on? Bro, people be on drugs. So no, 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 I'm saying that what he on. Like, you was there. Like, how old were you? Man, this was like, I was with Juvenile at a Hot Boys reunion concert. So this was this was when, was it where was what city was y'all in? It was in New Orleans. It was I the was there. Race. I was this down there. Maybe, but this was maybe like 2017. Oh, okay, okay. This yeah. we just did it again. No, I was this there. Was like 2017. So this when you first meet him, you younger at this point. But how old was you? I'm like 21, and I'm ignorant. And I'm ignorant as fuck. I'm in a club. I got the yeah on me. He and, didn't even know. But he he got his bodyguard. I think, man, I think he was really just mad because come to find out. Um, they had gave Juvenile his section, and I'm with Juvenile, so this is how we actually got to, oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? But I'm really like, we was getting out of the section, but I'm like, man, I'm about to holler at Wayne. Like, I ain't never get to meet Lil Wayne, you feel me? Like, I'm from that era of Lil Wayne, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, you know, we is it like. So, yeah. He, he how did that out. make you feel? It made me feel like it was a bitch-ass nigga, but I don't really take stuff personally. Like I said, he could have been high. Like, bro, at the time, I used to take pills and stuff like I used to be high and tripping. So you know what I'm saying? People tell me stuff like and told me stuff about stuff I didn't did to people, and I don't. I be like, bro, I don't remember that. When you when he said this, you kind of just looked away and walked away, or did you just nah, stay there I, and I, stay? I booted them up and sized them up, like you know what I'm saying? It, oh, you look, are you a little I, dude? Yeah, he ain't no big dude. Man, I'm like, man, you tripping? Like, you feel he's shorter me? than you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, I, mean, I seen him, we but seen I don't him. remember him. We being was that at the short. place with me, little. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what did he, what, when you signed the nigga up, but you like, nigga, you know, it, it could have, you know, already you need these dudes I, with I you. I turned around and told you. Yeah, you need like, these man, That nigga just played on me like a nigga. He was like, what he, what he say, what he say? I'm telling him what he said. He's like, man, you should have stuck that boss. Uh, <laughs> you should have hit that nigga this stomach up. I'm like, man, I'm no, man, we gonna go to jail up here, you feel me? But they like, man, we would have tore it down. You'd have hit him, we would have tore it down. I'm like, man, we gonna go to jail. Like, if I'd have hit him, he'd have been dead, I'd have been locked up. <laughs> you feel me? Real talk. It would have been that type of, uh, I would have been dead because he got like, I said, he got his bodyguards, you know what I'm saying? And you so had to stick a on big you. Problem, you feel me? Yeah, like we done got in here through the back door. Like, I always been a think ahead type of person. I ain't never been no crash artist, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just glad it didn't work. <laughs> At least maybe, maybe, you know, because during that time he was on top of the world. That was a time in his life where he felt like. He still probably feel that way though. Yeah, ain't no hard feeling. You know, at I the ain't end gonna never go up to him and be like, you, that's the like, last nah, time. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like I used to not listen to people music when and stuff like that happened, but I ain't. No, nah, you that's can't still let him, Wayne, you feel you me? You can't let him get in your head. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.